In this exercise, we will add a PID controller to control the steam mass flow to the autoclave to obtain a required temperature in the autoclave product. To do this, we will insert a PID controller. So we insert on the insert units, and this will be a con in the control unit group. So if I open that out, and I'll select a PID controller. The PID controller is an orphan unit, which means you can place it anywhere in your flow sheet. I'm going to place mine near the steam feed because that is the unit I'm actually going to control. So I'll click on the OK button. If I right click on this controller, it opens up the access window. If you remember, we have to fill in the white fields. In this case, the set point, the measured tag, and the output tag are the three fields that we'll first fill in. The measured tag is the discharge from the autoclave. So it will be this stream here, P007, the temperature in that stream. So if I right click on that and the temperature in, I'll copy that full tag, copy full tag, and then right click on the PNID and paste that into the measured tag field. Paste. The output tag. What are we going to control? We're going to control the steam flow into the autoclave. So if I right click on the steam feeder and it'll be the QM required. I click copy that full tag and right click on the PNID again and it's the output tag. I'll paste that in there. So we're measuring the temperature from the autoclave and we're going to control the steam. We have to now say what is our set point? What temperature do we want to control to? 150 degrees. Furthermore, we have to give it the range of the input. So the minimum temperature from the autoclave, I'm going to assume will be 20 degrees, and the maximum temperature at my steam temperature of 275. So that's the minimum and maximum for my measured value. For the output, we also have a minimum and maximum. The minimum, leave it zero, and the maximum, I'm going to say the maximum amount of steam I think I'll need is 20 tons an hour. I click on the OK button, and I'm now ready to see how that control will work. I'm going to copy these first three fields here, set point used, measured and out, into my trend window so that I can see if I've got a steady control. So I drag my mouse over those three fields and then right click and say copy full tag, come into my trend window and drag my mouse over three fields and I'll paste that in there. And now if I push the run button, see that controller it's given me it's 9.355 tons of steam required to get me to a temperature of 150 degrees. I hope that that helps you with setting up your PID controller.